a lot of the same. <laughs> and they have a, like a big hoodoo. Did you have, we got a lot of challenge. Yours didn't have candy stripers, though. No. That's one thing Joe has on you. His has candy stripers. <laughs> <laughs> and and I have a midget around the board. Yeah. Or, so, yeah. Uh, you know the the, uh, the police chief of the town is known as. Uh, well, see, my police chief is like kind of a good guy, but he's also an asshole. Okay? Oh. Is that I that? I like that. I like that. <laughs> uh, no, my police chief is a is a schizophrenic. <laughs> And, uh, he, he puts uh, aluminum foil in his windows. <laughs> Why is not that fucked up? You're going more the, uh, what, that crazy bastard? Dennis yeah. Hopper? No, the, you know, the movie, the, all the TV shows that are crazy. Crazy? What, yeah. Twin Peaks or something? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, right. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> we have this, and I have a, uh, a, uh, the, the judge in town, his name is Richard Face. <laughs> Richard Face, yeah, huh? his friends call him Dick. <laughs> Dick Face. Dick Face, yeah. Judge Dick Face. Well, his, his name you know, could be Head. Head. Dick Head, yes. <coughs> yeah, that's good, Head. Bye. 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 See you later. Is the ring slides? Not slides, but close to it. Schematics. I could give you a sketch of the town I was thinking of. Pie, pie chart. Settings, settings. Yeah. You know, what you do have to do. If you want to write a fucking story, you got to have a setting. I love my okay. I got my setting. Okay. You, got a, you got a three minute pitch there, Bicey? And I'm not saying one, one way or another, whatever no. happens, but I'm just saying that I would love to, for us to, like, and again, I don't I like give a idea. shit if it never even gets anywhere. Advancing earlier, where. I we just do like, real demonstrations oh, of violence. About it. Real demonstrations of violence? Yeah. Maybe I may... Yeah, but we need to get animals or something. <laughs> I just think we're wasting a lot of fucking intellectual ability. I don't know, maybe we don't have that much ability. I actually think we do. I, uh, I know here? that any one of us can do this shit. And I know together we can even get a better project. <laughs> and and we'll, with the less amount of time, every person pursues their own projects. That's fine. You go do your own projects. But for two or three hours a week, maybe one hour or two hours without us, and then two hours with us, even twice a month. Dilly wants us to you, be. You come yeah. up and, and say something worthwhile. I know we're all that intelligent. I know we are. Babe, it's, it's yeah. Not, if you get me not that two or three hard. hours a week, I can turn you into all confidence and defensive line. You think so, huh? Uh, I'm not asking for that. I'm asking for just a coherent story that makes sense. That isn't outrageous. It would be a rags to riches story. Crazy. But yeah, and you can put crazy shit in it. But I'm talking about a coherent fucking story that makes sense. I know goddamn well. No, my power in this room can do that. I don't think it's worth doing anything. Well, maybe satire. not. It, it, I mean, it, other it, than satire. I, so I don't think I think, and yeah, that could be the line of the whole story. That could be the line of the story. It's not a movie like that, guys. It doesn't have to be. Doing. You don't like it? No. What I'm talking about is once you get down to the nitty gritty, all of us have ideas for stories, but now get down to the nitty gritty of the dialogue. Oh. Uh, I, I, once we establish characters, character so and so says this. Well, I don't think that's that real. I'll, I'll come back to you. You know, <laughs> I like to suck dick. <laughs> Hello, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's useful for writing a story. Right? <laughs> I'll say. That's, that's a good place to <laughs> Okay, so it's like <laughs> sucking. Oh, no. First line. I could go for that. First line of a, of a book or, or a screenplay. I like to suck dick. I, uh, oh, glad we got that established. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Where do you You're go from there? You're talking circumcised or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that was a hypothetical model. I personally thought it was a real shit. Honey, I don't know.
now it's done. <laughs> Guess what time it is? Four? Ten to eight. <laughs> I just think that we sit around a lot and not do much. I think That's we should be doing more. Actually, about the only time I sit around is when I'm with you but guys. I think, I think you're a bad let influence let me, on me and probably everybody else. <laughs> let me uh, interdict. Uh, you know, I thought that my sense of educated bowlers was like, you know, you're talking about working towards something, doing a little more work. You know, and I always thought of educated bowlers as like the anti-work. Right. And, and to me, just the... It's like, like a space where I don't have to be to say, inter Educated bowlers doesn't have nothing to do with this. All, all I'm saying is that, you know what, we're just all sitting around kind of doing our things. You know, we just watch the game. Don't you feel like you're working too much though already? Not well, for what I'm talking about. It wouldn't be more. It wouldn't be work. It would be fun. If, if um, we all just even you know, not even every week, but like every other week, whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever we decide on doing, instead of like playing poker, it wouldn't matter. It doesn't have to like degrade what we're doing. I could dance. Just once in a while, just sit around. Okay. We want to talk about the storyline. You guys know Let's how to have write a storyline centered around Lupe's old house. <laughs> yeah. Anything. You know, I don't give a shit. House. Anything. On Whitney? Anything. On Whitney. Yeah, what about it? I, just, I thought that was such a nice place. Get, yeah. What I'm That'd saying be cool. is get some words on paper and make something coherent and bounce it off of colleagues. And, and if you look like at I haven't left the room. We finally decide on some characters. <coughs> Whatever the characters are, it doesn't matter. Crazy. We bounce them around. This is a real dialogue between that character. We eventually, we had a laptop. We wrote this shit down. Well, we've already got eventually, two over lines. Of a year or two, I like this like deck. I don't. So, what would you follow that with, Spicy? I'm serious, <laughs> man. It would be like different. Hello, Joe. <laughs> What That's would, what after you say, I don't, what would you say? It's just, we're sitting around bullshitting. Let's do something I don't know, I don't know where characters are, which makes it more difficult. <laughs> it isn't even that much Slightly. harder. It isn't even that much harder. It's just, do it. You know, do it. Yeah, well, I, I, I think I'd like to do something. I could invest a little bit more time and, and, and do something a bit more serious. Sure. I'm not gonna act. I'm not even asking that. What I'm asking Nicholas. is that in the you next could. couple of months, bro, well, we're sitting around <laughs> bullshitting at bowling. Pitch me a line. Bill, are you saying we should quit bowling? No. Pitch me a story. Pitch me a story. Bowling. You know, goddamn well, all of you guys got a story. I got a story. You guys got a story. Five poker buddies knock off a casino. <laughs> I like, I like a, a woman has a nice ass. I like to give her a good slap. <laughs> well, see, we incorporate that into the story if we all think that story. That, that story's that. already and been over written. Over the course of about a year, we end up evolving this thing. You know what? Yeah, a couple slaps in the ass on some shit. The oh, yeah, song. there's what Wanda. She shows up. What She's fucking sweet. Nice yeah, she's like 47 years old, but you know what? She still has an ass on her that is like, you ain't going to pass it up, baby. You're going to want to fucking tap that ass, right? And whether or not she walks off, bam, bam. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And now we write that down. You fucking tell me how to change that. Oh, Bicey's more like... Yeah, okay, Wanda's a fucking Why does not she a have nice to do ass. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm thinking, who's Wanda? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Like, why can't it be Fred? You know, what I, what I was thinking, if you want to know what I was thinking, was the only people I've heard say tap that ass have been about 10 years younger than I am. So that shows me that Dilly's very hip. Yeah. Well, exactly. also, it's his nearness to the African American. Spicy, <laughs> there's no been, there's not been any school teachers that you've visited and maybe a little older than you that you want to. <laughs>
Bicey. Oh, Bicey, yeah. Let's do it. Come on. Yeah, some fun. I, I think for I Monday we should all bring fun, in some yeah. ideas and talk about them after we have a few beers instead of... I think of it could be fun. I think we could end up with a plot but, you know, that would actually But we should... Uh, coming from five circumcised well, guys, I mean, I don't think we... Are we circumcised? I think we agreed we all were circumcised or some were lying. I don't care where it goes. I'm just saying, like, hey, are you, circumcised? you know? Yes, I am. Dilly, are you circumcised? Yep. Yeah. Well, we could film. It would be cool if we actually did, uh, like, hit it big sometime, because then we, we could film these sessions where we're pitching ideas. No and problem, we, right. And then we'd have, some, we'd have our own Project Greenlight ready to kind of go show the whole process of how we came like up Oprah with it. after the show. Yeah. Also, well, when you're ready, you have a child, you want to have a little room there. You know, it's a little playroom. It's no hardy. Oh, my God. Dairy Queen is not there. He's a good idea for us. Dairy Queen. And plus, this place has no Dairy King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I read it falls. Somebody wrote our show. Really? Whoa. I gotta check that. That's the one that I did. Joe can read it. So the whole show. Mostly to him. Love letter to him. You got that, did you? So the whole of this episode. From two guys. I was a fishing guy for years. That's where I flew the most. Uh, this is called. Uh, we had two full-time pilots. Boy, we really appreciate these letters. Football. Well, hey fellows, we love your show. We've been big fans of yours since you have since you have came on. Some buddies and I were in Professor Wendros' rhetoric, the essay class when we were freshman and we've been huge fans of his books and writing book and writings since book and writings <laughs> we end up having big heated arguments every thursday night after we watch your show and want to say thanks for putting it on the air there's a huge following of your show even if you don't know it and hope that you keep on the air the question we have for the night is there is if there was a wrestling match who would win Lupe or Professor Dilly? <laughs> Lupe looks like a tough son of a bitch, <laughs> but Dilly might be able to kick some ass. Anyway, we just wanted to say hi. Email us back and tell us what you think and uh, if you have any feedback for us. Thanks a ton, Chad and Brandon. P.S. Windroth, who is your football picks for? pick for the next week, and if we bet that the Vikings uh, win, will you give us a shot out on the air? Shot out. No, it says shot. <laughs> no? Didn't get yeah, cut off. Cut off the printout, dude. Oh, they spelled it shot? They spelled no, it shot. Shot out. Don't you, don't you feel stupid. Yeah, I do feel stupid. Yeah. Where's my gun? I'm going to give a shot out. Yeah, the, the Vikings. Shout out to my homies. Boom. <laughs> I guess we, we can't give a shout out though because the Vikings. That's why I hate pheasant. That's why I hate pheasant hunting with homies. Denver, by the way, is in the, in the middle of just as big a meltdown as the Vikings had last night. Really? What's the score of that game? Yeah. Why are we? Why is this on? Oh, I forgot about. Well, of course you already missed the uh, Lupe Dilly around the line. They were last of this last summer. We had a king salmon on the beach. It was flopping around, probably about 40, 45 pounds, and he just jumped on it. And so we both, you know. I think I had it on. Lupe jumped on it in the, the muddy water and the slippery bank. It started sliding back in, so then I threw the pole on the bank and I jumped on it. At some point, the salmon was gone, but there was Lupe and I still kind of wrestling around. In and, mud. Uh, yeah, and I'm not sure if I went wow. to what totally happened Lupe. after that. But well, <laughs> well, in Alaska, really round one. In Alaska uh, mud dries really fast because it's, it's cool out. So we really couldn't call it mud wrestling. Guys wrestle, so we'll see. So who won that? No, won't well, wrestle Sam now. Why do you want us to wrestle now, Tim? Well, we need to serve our viewers. Yeah. So the viewers uh, are the most important like thing. To... It's not your artistic uh, vision. I uh, yeah. emailed back uh, Chad and Brandon with my pick. Uh, when was it? Saturday night. Yeah. Or you did for me and. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I just want to say that Tim must have misheard me when he sent yeah, that right. email out. Because I did not mean to say Miami. <laughs> uh, but, uh, no, I did make that pick. And what you have to understand about gambling is that when people say a lock of the week, what they're talking about, <laughs> really, is... They're talking about the crap. No, 
That's not it. <laughs> uh, what they're talking sure about. Sure as hell ain't making money. Is if you have, I am making money. If you no. bet all 